Hi family, it's Herbless Viola with Very Wise Alternatives Tuesdays. Happy Tuesday everybody. Uh, today we're going to just talk about fasting. There's a whole different reasons why you fast. There's spiritual fast, there's fasting when you're sick, there's fasting uh, when a doctor prescribes it. So it's all different ways of fasting. There's intermittent fasting, there's dry fasting, just water fasting, juice fasting. Um, just uh, one meal. So it's so, so many different reasons. Um, there's so many different ways to fast. But the reason why I'm talking about fasting is the reason, the main reason why you need to fast. And you know why you need to fast. You need to fast to reset your body, to care about your body, to uh, pretty much rid your body of just toxins, bad bacteria. We already know our body is mostly bacteria, but we want good bacteria. We don't want the bad bacteria. So the main reason why you fast is because you want to live a healthier life. You want to live a better life. So that's the main reason why to fast. And also you want your body, your brain, not your gut brain, but you want your correct brain, your, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? You want this brain to control that brain. Reason, but the main reason you want to take control of your gut, control of your stomach, control of the appetite. And that is a great benefit to fast. But the overall is you guys, you just need to, to take care of yourself. And plus with this pandemic, <laughs> we don't know with, you know, different situations with food. Sometimes it's good to fast and learn to see and learn to see just how long you can actually do without food. I know that sounds crazy. But anyway, um, the main reason you want to love yourself, take care of yourself. And listen, when you go to the doctor, when, I mean, when you get admitted to the hospital, what's the first thing they do? <laughs> they say they say no food. They say no food for a reason. Cause they want to make sure you know they go take your blood see all your different levels make you wait a whole day and then the next day they take your blood again and what they're doing they're just seeing uh they're just you know text checking your levels this <laughs> to see you know really what's wrong so you don't have to be admitted in the hospital just to fast now <laughs> don't wait till you sick do not wait that's that's the worst way to really take care of your body because we already know what's going to happen in there. They're going to give you, you know, different medications and different things that, you know, but you just need to do it natural. I'm just trying to show you natural. No, it's nothing wrong with going to the hospital when you're sick and you need the medical. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you want preventive. You want to prevent it. So to prevent you from having to be in the hospital for unknown reasons, you can actually do it naturally. So this is just the natural way to fast. Fasting is to correct your body, have your body heal itself. Yes, you're going to go through all these um, mental states where you're going to be like, oh, I'm dying and I got to eat. That's just your body tricking yourself because like um, sugar and starch and you know, the carbohydrates, your body is addicted, is addicted to the food, addicted to just having that. Yes, we know your brain will start tripping, you'll get angry, but just meditate, just try to fast. You already fast when you sleep. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with doing an intermittent fast. Intermittent fast is just like fasting for half a day. You can fast two to three hours, six hours, eight hours, nine hours. You can have one meal a day. But try it. Try to fast. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a great benefit. I fast, yes. I try <laughs> I try to fast at least four to five times a year. And that's just and just and as you fast, you can actually do a cleanse, you can do a detox. It's so many things. You could do a water fast, you could do a juice fast. Look. You don't know what's really going on with your liver. No, I'm not saying that anything's wrong with your liver, but you never know if your blood's toxic. So um, th that's just a perfect way to clean your system. It's nothing wrong with once a year. You think about on January, everybody says, oh, I'm going to do a detox. So won't you just do a detox springtime? You don't have to wait to New Year's or January or, you know, just do an intermittent fast or just do a fast because you know what's going on in your body. We already know your body talks to you, you're just not listening, especially when you're thirsty, especially like 
you ever sometimes feel like your body's just uneasy you know it could be your body just talking to itself try to do it fast and just uh just truly much watch what you eat because we already know the food is way different from when our parents our great grandparents used to grow their own food so everything's different you know with uh genetically modified foods and just who knows what's in the foods and all these different chemicals and all these different man-made issues but anyway just do it just do it fast to take control of your gut control of your your body get your mind right get your mind in control of your body that's the only thing the reason why it's too fast and plus you love yourself this is what you have to live in we know it's they say our bodies are temple take care of your body just take care of your body do it in a minute fast yes it will help you lose weight regulate blood uh you know your insulin level yes it will regulate your cholesterol it will do so many different things so just try it try one day try two days you know they say our body can't you know go without food three days so not saying just go right off the back and do a uh do a fast um you know, if we never did one, just try it. Try six hours and try 12 hours. If you go 24, then go 24. But seriously, love your body. Take care of your body. Listen, video's not going to be long, so I'm going to end there. Yes, I'm going to do another video um, talking about the different facets and what you can do and incorporate herbs and incorporate, uh, incorporate detox. But seriously, Everybody needs to fast, especially if you eat meat. You definitely need to, you definitely need to fast and uh, do a cleanse, like I say, four times a year. But uh, we're going to end there. It's Herbalist Viola. Enjoy your Tuesdays. Listen, like, share, subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> I, I really appreciate you. But anyway, you guys have a great day. Bye.